Hello guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So in today's video, I'm gonna be working on getting this corner repair welded in. So before I start working on welding in these repair panels, I need to drill a couple of holes on this piece for the spot welds. And then on this piece, I need to drill a couple of holes along this very back edge because that will spot weld to this edge in here, along this edge in here. So as soon as I get those uh, holes along there drilled and I've got a couple on here, I can then start getting it clamped in and start welding it in as well. So I've drilled my two holes on this piece for the spot welds and I've drilled my holes along that back edge for those spot welds as well. So now what I need to do is just get it clamped into place. So along the front there's uh, two holes and I was just using some self-tapping screws to clamp it to this piece. And then I've got some smaller clamps which I'll use to clamp the back edge where those spot welds are along the edge on the inside here. And then I'd put a couple of spot welds in here, a couple of spot welds in there. And then obviously I've got that, um, when it's actually in there, I'll have to seam weld down that edge. And I've got a finished seam weld in this bit as well. So I'll quickly get it clamped in place and then I can start welding it in. So I've got my little repair patch all clamped into place now. So what I did is I added a couple of extra screws along this bottom edge because the edge on the inside was sort of uh, peeling away a little bit from this bit. So I just put a couple of screws in to make sure all that closes up the gap so it's nice and tight. I've got it clamped here and I've also got another screw, uh, self-tapping screw on the inside here. So it's all clamped together nice and tight. So what I'll start doing is just, I might just do a couple of tacks along this edge couple of tacks along there, couple of tacks on the inside um, and then I'll start doing all the spot welds and seam welding it down that edge and seam welding this piece in as well. So I'll get the welder set up so I can start welding that in.
So I've got both my little repair patches welded in now. I just realized there's one more spot weld there, which I need today. And then obviously where these uh, screws are, obviously there's a little hole, so I just need to fill them just to make sure it's all sealed up. But I'm really happy with how the way this has all gone today. So obviously this can just be ground back and blended in. Uh, done most of the spot welds along here and they did the spot welds on the inside of this edge as well. And then obviously I just seam welded this seam here. So I'm really happy with the way that's all gone today. Obviously I can just grind that back. Uh, what I might do, obviously there's a little gap here, so I'll probably just, um, uh, not quite sure if I'm doing this with this panel just yet because I haven't been able to get a replacement uh, mount where the subframe bolts into. So obviously that would spot weld to here and onto the inside of the floor here. So I need to see if I can um, either get a like a replacement panel for this which has that piece included and I'd be able to repair that corner there. Um, if I can't, I just might have to make something to go in here for the subframe to bolt to and then just weld up that corner. Uh, but what I might do is um, just sort of do a few little welds along there and then come back with the seam sealer and seal that all up. Same along this edge, I'll just uh, use the seam sealer just to seal that up. So that's going to be it for today's video. I'm happy I was able to get those two little patches welded in. They're a little bit fiddly, but I was able to get them welded in in the end, so I'm happy about that. I'm still looking for the rear... Um, the bracket mount for the rear subframe that welds to the inside of the floor so as soon as I find one of them I can keep going with this project and uh, move on to doing the brackets and the outer sill uh, so thanks for watching this video